To be Hindu is not to be religious. Not against it either. It is to be a practitioner, not a follower, of the Vedic, Hindu, Vedic, Sanatan, Dharma, Sanskrit culture. It's a very specific worldview. And this worldview does not believe that it is useful to conquer others and try to force your beliefs upon them because this worldview sees all of us as immortal divine beings who have many, 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 many lifetimes, as many as you want. From where you are right now listening to me speak, I and you, if I'm still around when you're listening, we all are immortal beings. So if the body you're in breaks down and is no longer useful, you'll go to another one and another one and then another one and then another one. Just like classes in a university. In fact, I call it the university. That's the Hindu, Vedic, Sanatan Dharma, Sanskrit, cultural way of talking about our situation. Everyone's. But you see, there's no such thing as a Hindu going out in the world with a gun and saying you must believe in reincarnation. <laughs> it's laughable. Ask any Hindu that. Say, would you take a gun out and try to make everyone believe in reincarnation? <laughs> you know, they'll kind of giggle and go, no, I'm sorry, I would not do that. We don't do that. I am a Hindu. They're saying that for your benefit. I am a follower of a viewpoint that respects every living entity. That wouldn't think of forcing them to a viewpoint. That sees the divine in everyone. This is also why, originally, before colonization, before Islam and Christianity were violent in India, before outside forces came in using violence, in the culture of India, nobody coerced someone else to hold a particular viewpoint. And if they did, they were the extreme minority and they weren't Hindu. So let's be clear. Hindu Tva has been weaponized by the people who are afraid of it. But you see, as Hindus, we have no desire to weaponize the culture that we're practicing because it has to be taught in a friendly way. Just try to think of it this way. Is the supreme being angry and dangerous or friendly and your best friend? If there is a supreme being. I don't mind. If you say, I'm not sure yet, great. That's fine. That's intelligent. But at the same time, if there's a supreme being who made all the flowers and birds and everything, made it so beautiful, made the world this incredible, beautiful world, if anyone's that smart, what's the likelihood that they're a despot and can't wait to hurt you? <laughs> to someone who's a Hindu, that's a laughable idea. We laugh and go, no, no, no. I'm sorry, but you are very misunderstanding you understand? You shouldn't be afraid of the source of all beauty. You shouldn't be afraid of Hindus. Because Hindus, the worst thing they're going to do is talk too much. The worst thing they're going to do is tell you about their library. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit CITTI.net. Dhanavad Namaskar.